Hey guys, I have a short update for you. As you may, as some of you may have seen from my previous video that uh, I plan to develop a little bit my wind system, because with solar I'm capped, like four to three kilowatts of panels. There is no more basically room to expand, and like it's it's capped. But with wind, there is definitely something that I can do. Uh, if you remember, I've been talking a little bit about uh, how often one kilowatt of wind power is outperforming one kilowatt of solar. And that is a pretty nice amount of days, to be honest, during the autumn, winter and, and spring periods. Uh, I will give you the realistic statistics uh, video so you will see how many of these days are there during this period. So you will see the exact numbers. I don't have them right now. It'll be later sometime. But... Since I already know this, I actually want and will add more wind turbines. Uh, as you may have seen from the previous video, on the Grapes House, I've been mounting two smaller ones where this one, the small modified uh, wind turbine will go. However, that will be not that simple. I will actually buy the SM3 model. It's already in the, in the delivery process to me. And then we will have the S3 default m3 default and this new upgraded generator and then we will combine which one of them goes where and which hubs goes fits better where and with this i will get two exactly wind turbines which will be performing as i want them to not what the manufacturer says but as i want and as they have to perform so this will be the update number one so how the default s3 and m3 wind turbines are looking i've already show you shown you uh, just like bear in mind, they never tell you the true values on AliExpress. So for S3, you never can count more than for more than 100 watts. And for M3, realistically, it's two, three, 400 watts max. That's the reality that you can see from them. Uh, maybe if you are in a stormy areas, then you may be seeing sometime maybe 600, 700. That's possible, but that should be really extreme hurricane storm weather. I don't know. I'm not ever going to see this in my location where I live. So yeah, that this reality differs. But the main update is different one. The main update is that I'm going to be adding a bigger wind turbine, which will look exactly the same as the one that I'm showing you in the videos. This is, by the way, the FT1000L model. And in this case, this will be the FT2000, but L2 model. What's the difference between L1 and L2? L1 was the smaller blades, L2 with the bigger blades. The difference with blades is 2.8 and 3.2 and meters. So I will have the L2, the 3.2 meters wind wheel diameter uh, machine, which is realistic 2 kilowatt machine with the capabilities like shown here. And the generator capabilities like shown here. So let me explain you about this table a little bit. So this table will show you how the generator itself, while mounted on the, how do you call this, the, 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 the big device? I don't know the English word just for it, for it sorry. Um, where you, you, can, you can do some metal work and you can you just connect it and, and, then, and then drill and, and, and then spin. I, I, let, I hope you, you, under, you guess uh, maybe and you will tell me what, what's the name of this, of, the, of this device. But in any case, this is how they test it. They actually connect the generator directly and they made some load. They connect some load onto it and then they check the, the, the characteristics of the parameters. What is the voltage? uh on between the phases the, the linear voltage so-called what is the voltage after rectification and of course with some load applied load you can see this in the amps and what's the voltage output you can also see this and uh, this uh, this as uh, as watts uh bear in mind that on real wind it will not perform like this because it's very wor it's working very differently on the realistic wind but from this kind of table you can figure out how it will perform on real world wind. And what I can say from this table is that I am sure, I am confident it will fit perfectly for my two kilowatt grid tie inverter, which you have already seen in the video. And I will make a video for it, uh, for, for those who asked, who were interested, how exactly does it work. This is a great inverter actually. Uh, and it has a lot of nice features. It, it works as, as it should in my case. I don't know, Toys for Watts guys had made Hey, it has been burning it <laughs> very easily, and he hadn't eventually made it working. 
maybe he's just like doing something wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's just the guy. Maybe it's the exact uh, device. But uh, in my case, it works absolutely perfectly, seamlessly. No issues, no glitches, uh, no problems. Uh, so, of course, I can recommend it. I will send you the link to it in, down down on the description. And, of course, I'll make a video, a separate video about it because it has a lot of features. But this wind turbine that I'm talking about will be mounted to this uh, grid tie inverter and will work exactly as it should. The only thing that I will have to think a little bit and to think around is the brakes because the brakes have to like slow it down, but not over slow and not under slow, but just like to make it fit within the range. Uh, so I, uh, I'm i not confident here, but I think that might be the uh, 5 ohm 4 kilowatt resistor would be absolutely perfect for this wind turbine. Uh, I'd like to stop it absolutely correctly. Maybe 4 ohm, I'm not sure, but this is like the fine tuning process. We'll figure it out during the realistic test. So the order has been placed. It's paid. Now it has to be shipped. Well, of course, from China, the shipping period will be long and 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 and, and like like really long because we have troubles with the in the Red Sea. We have troubles right now in 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 between Ukraine and Poland on the border. But eventually, yes, this will take some time to get it delivered. But sometime in May, I think maybe it's going to be in my hands already, and I will do everything unpacking. Um, mounting the default uh, view like tests and everything you will you will see everything from from this winter mind what what it's capable of and what can it do how to order it uh you can go to alibaba i will give you the link directly to just like give a message to jessica and she will like do everything you can order it directly with the shipment from her side or you can use your forward if you have one to your country uh, like I do, for example, because uh, it's like a little bit way more cost effective for me to like make the shipment in China internally to the my forwarders uh, warehouse. And then from there, they take responsibility and deliver it to me. And this is very much more price and cost efficient for in, in my case. So the end cost for this wind turbine will be absolutely ridiculous. You won't believe it will cost me around 800, maybe something, maybe 820 dollars. In the end, with the VAT, with the taxes, with the delivery, it's all like delivery duty paid to my to my door. And that's something that I can be really happy about. But let's just wait and see how it goes. And if there will be any additional expenses, who knows, like that things may change eventually. So, yeah, this is the update for today. And uh, hope to see you later soon. I will have a lot of stuff to tell you more. Bye.